Alrighty folks, it's your boy Seppo Boy here coming at you guys with another vlog. Today we're finally doing it. People have been asking for this from me for years honestly, but recently even more. We're finally breaking down my form. I think generally people think that my driving form is not the most typical. Seems like this is something that interests a lot of you. I am not a professional uh, physicist or anything like that, so everything I'm saying is from what I have learned myself. I have learned all of my technique myself, and I'm just trying to generate power the most comfortable and the best way I can. Let's just get to it. All right, so here we are starting with a regular standstill putter shot. This is something I love using and everybody needs to use. Uh, the first thing we're seeing here, and the main thing in standstill is the weight shift. Uh, as you can see here, I'm on my back leg, moving onto the front leg, and at the end, having all the weight on that front leg. Here we can see it from the back side. And we can see here my reach back only reaching to about my left shoulder. Uh, obviously a little outer from my body, but we're throwing soft. We don't need to reach all that far back. I do reach back a little further in other shots, uh, but I'm not one of those uh, big reach back guys. Moving on to the mid-range shot. That shot was about 100 meters, uh, thrown in a little bit of a hyzer. You can see the height of my pull here. I do pull it pretty high. I like to pull it from about my chest height and the movement continues on that same height. And that really is the key thing, I think, for the consistency to pull it on that same line. Let's see this shot from the backside. So you can see here my left leg is little off the line and uh, I'm trying to throw a little bit to the left of the goal and uh, that's really how you get your hips involved and uh, you get more power but I do not like to have my left leg too far behind uh, because that can actually hurt your back in the long run. Moving on to the distance driver having uh, the, I threw this shot about 140 meters just a regular drive for me and uh, here we stop at my hop so this is how i generate power for my run up really i kind of am almost in the air at one point where i start landing towards my landing foot and that's how i generate a lot of power to my drive and uh, here instead you can see my left leg kind of popping towards my right thigh and that's how you pop that hip and really get the power from your legs it really is all in your legs and the timing and that is the key thing let's get back here on the drive and see my reach back as i earlier mentioned that i am not one of those that really reaches far back i think i could reach back another let's say 10 centimeters or 15 centimeters and i even can use it when i really throw a really hard a full power distance shot i do reach a little bit farther back Another thing that people always ask from me is this thing right here. So you can see my wrist being really curled inside. That is not something I do on purpose. That's just a natural way for me to hold the disc. And uh, I think it's really important to hold it the natural way for you because that's where you have the less uh, tensity in your shot and you can really whip it naturally and flexibly. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, really just kind of wanted to keep it simple and not too long, just trying to bring out the main points. We have all seen the driving techniques and we know all the main things, but these are the main uh, things that I do and think that are the most important things for me to do. I also do have great news for everybody because I almost daily get a message from somebody. They sent me a video and asked me to correct their driving form starting this friday the day after this video is posted you're able to purchase my driving analysis of your drive i will have all of the needed information online the day after this video is posted so friday 
check out my Instagram. You will have all of the information there or a link to the information on my Instagram page. So stay tuned for that. And uh, obviously I cannot just take as many of those as I would get. I am only able to do 10 clinics at a time. So I'm trying to do 10 clinics every week. Stay tuned every Monday. This first set is gonna be published this Friday, as I already said. But after that, every Monday, I'm trying to come out with 10 spots for the driving analysis from me. So that's gonna be 45 euros for each. I'm gonna do a video for you from the video that you sent me. And it'll be seven days for you that you will receive the video from me from the day that you sent me your video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.